everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an open box video of some things that I ordered from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, they had a sale on April 1st for 50% off, so I, I did some damage and um, I bought a lot of stuff. I haven't bought anything from e.l.f. in, Elf in quite a while, so um, I've been wanting to try all their, you know, newer items and I just haven't, you know, placed an order in so long. So I, I bought a lot of stuff and I will show them with you guys. So the first three things I got are the HD Lifting Concealers. I got the um, two corrector ones, um, the balancing, kind of like lavender, kind of lilac color, the adjusting green color, and then I got the Fair Concealer. And I have swatches of them on my hand. So as you can see, the lilac, the green, and the skin colored one. Um, this one is in the color Fair, and it almost looks to be a little dark for me, um, but I definitely... I think I could definitely use it more as um, covering up spots on my face rather than under eyes because um, typically I like something a little more brightening under my eyes so this might be a little dark I don't know if this was the lightest one um, but I would say if you are any lighter than me um, I think that this probably would not be the best color for you and then this is what it looks like kind of blended just a little bit these feel really creamy and really soft and um, I can't wait to try these I think these are gonna be um, really great for obviously the greens good for covering up redness and the kind of lilac kind of covers up um, Any kind of like yellowness or anything like that So I think these will be um, really great to try out and then I also got this other elf concealer And it just looks like this and it is also in the color ivory and comparing the two colors This one is the stick one and the top one is um, the liquid concealer and they're both in the color ivory But as you can see this one's much more yellow and a little deeper and this one has a bit of a a, um, a little more kind of an orangey salmon color so I think that um, this one might be a better um, one for under my eyes to kind of cancel any kind of darkness or anything like that but um, I would definitely say these are pretty pretty different colors for both being ivory so the next item I got is the elf studio acne fighting foundation in the color ivory and I don't really typically have super bad acne or anything like that I do get breakouts here and there um, but I just thought this would be an interesting foundation to try. It has salicylic acid, witch hazel, camphor, uh, tea tree, and aloe in it. So, um, I thought maybe this would be a fun one to try, even though I don't really have super bad acne. And then it comes in a bottle like this. I actually kind of like the, uh, the bottle and it has a very, uh, precise, um, tip to it. So I like that because sometimes poor top ones you can kind of waste a lot of product based on how much you accidentally pour out. And this is the color ivory which seems to be um, out of all the ivory colored things I've purchased this one definitely seems to be um, the most ivory <laughs> what I would consider ivory. Um, so I'm just kind of testing it out on my hand right now and it seems to have really nice coverage and the color seems to be really really well I know it's you can't really see because it's foundation um, But I just covered all that shimmery stuff that I had on my hand and I don't know this one looks like it would be a really um, a Really nice foundation to try out this one seems to have pretty good coverage and um, It seems to have slightly um, a slightly satiny kind of um, finish so I will definitely be trying that out soon and uh, letting you guys know what I think about it. The next two items I got are um, let's see the daily moisturizing stick the clear one and the elf moisturizing stick foundation in the color ivory. So this one is the clear one and it actually has this um, little like inner cap as well um, but to my knowledge this is like a um, a moisturizing stick which I assume you could apply before your foundation or possibly um, as kind of like a refresher kind of thing so I will try that out and see if I like that because I do have dry skin and then the second thing I got is the moisturizing foundation stick in the color ivory and this one I have to say I redact my first statement about the acne foundation being the closest to ivory I think that so far this is the closest one to ivory so I pushed it all the way up so you can see how much product you are getting so for a um, a stick kind of uh, product that is a very um, very generous amount and uh, like I said I think that now this one is the closest true ivory kind of color um, I have it on my hand right now it is over that other foundation so it's a little misleading um, about like how uh, full coverage or anything like that 
Um, but so far, I think that this one is the closest to an ivory skin color. And the next item I got, which I was probably the most excited for, and it is the e.l.f. Studio Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream. And I actually have the powder version of this, and I love it so much. It's I use it pretty much um, every day, and it's my favorite bronzer and favorite blush to use. One, because it's just so great and so pigmented for like three dollars and then it's also so handy and compacted and I wanted to try the cream products because like I said I do have dry skin and I think that um, cream products work really really well for um, people with drier skin because it just kind of helps add a little bit of moisture back to the skin and I am completely in love with this already and so this is what it looks like they're both cream products and the swatches of them are amazing. I'm completely impressed with this and I can't wait to use it. Um, the colors, they look exactly like um, the powder versions and I just can't wait to use these. I love them so much. Um, I love the powder one so much so I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna love this one too. And they just seem, they're really easy to blend. Uh, they don't, um, they don't feel very sticky or anything because sometimes I have problems with um, blushes that are cream or bronzers that are cream and they'll be really kind of like sticky or something but these they really blend out nicely without being too too much or anything like that so this is like I said probably one thing I was like the most excited for and another blush item I got and I've been wanting to try these for so long and it is the HD blush and this one is in the color Headliner. And the packaging looks like this. It's really cute. It's like a tiny little foundation bottle with a pump. And it is a cream liquid kind of um, blush. And I would say that the, you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. So I have a tiny speck of it here. And I'm just going to um, blend it out. And so you can see that tiny speck really goes a long way. It has a very nice um, kind of satiny uh, finish to it. And it's very light. It doesn't have a thick, cakey feeling. And I think this would be really great if you want just a really light, fresh, kind of dewy um, uh, cheek color. Then these would probably be really uh, good ones to try out.